lovely to meet you, Margaret. Thank you very much. Obviously, you're touring Alicante this weekend. Um, you're in Alfaz today for the meeting, which yes. has obviously raised a lot of really important issues. Yes. Um, can you just explain, obviously, where else you're going and what you hope to actually achieve from this meeting and this weekend yeah. in Spain? Well, you know, uh, it was me which was invited. Uh, so I was here to listen. And uh, I think that there's a great spirit. People are very, very depressed for good reasons. They are treated terribly. And uh, of course, that is always very impressive. At the other hand, I think that people here are, uh, you know, they're not just accepting this here. And uh, what I hope is that they will address Spanish members of European Parliament to make sure that what we decided in my report, the great majority, big majority in March, that if there are no signs of, of improvement here in Spain, then we will withhold uh, money in the budget. And we have just put an amendment to the budget, which should be voted in the coming weeks, uh, where we ask that here in Valencia, you withhold 185 million euro until we see things improve here. Is this the closest that you've actually come so far? Yes, because I cannot, you know, I am, I'm a parliamentarian, you know, I have no legal means, I, can, I cannot do things more than awareness, telling about it, telling the world about it, giving voice to those who are suffering here, and of course put heavy pressure on Spain. What we, I hope we can, and I think then, <coughs> in my opinion, the real uh, terrible thing here in Spain is that you have a legal system which doesn't work. Uh, the courts are just, uh, oh, you know, it, it doesn't work, and that's terrible. There are some really, really sad stories, obviously, that we've heard today in the meeting. Um, and obviously, we really hope, and all the residents hope, that, you know, these petitions can actually make a difference. Are you confident that, that these can actually change people's lives from now on? Well, uh, confident is a strong word. I'm hopeful that it can happen. And I think that we have had so much awareness about these Spanish issues. In the last legislation, we had three reports on, uh, uh, on uh, this situation in Spain. There were two reports and three uh, visits. And I think that, you know, with my report, three reports. And uh, people are following it. And uh, we have some means. And then I also, of course, hope that the Commission take it seriously. They have already now. Uh, a, 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 a case in the court, the European court, on public procurement. And now I also hope they will take the cases of human rights violation, and which is a, a crucial, and of uh, the uh, water framework directive, and I know they're very much looking into the water situation here, it's terrible, and also, of course, on the Natura 2000 uh, issue. So we are, I, I hope that the Commission, and that's of course the best I can do, if they wake, because they have power. They really do need to now take these matters seriously, don't they? It's been a pleasure to meet you, Margaret. Thank you very, very much. Thank you.